G'day my Lego friends, I hope you're doing well today. I just finished building these two new DC sets and I found myself asking the question, I wonder which is the most accurate, this new Batmobile or the Batmobile we got as a gift with purchase if you purchased the set 76139, the UCS style 1989 Batmobile. And while I don't typically do reviews anymore, I thought it'd be cool to do a comparison between the two and again some photos of the actual Batmobile. And that way we could determine which is the most accurate. And I'll also throw in a quick look at the Batwing. Pretty standard fare when it comes to minifigures, but they are very nice minifigures. The Batman are the same in the two sets. We do get this moulded white piece inside the cow which gives you those beautiful, nice, bright, white eyes on the Batman. And the Joker is the same between the two, but one comes with a hairpiece for the Batmobile and the, the purple fedora for the Batwing. Taking a closer look at the two Batmobiles, on the left we have the new 76224 Batmobile Batman versus the Joker Chase. It consists of 438 pieces. On the right we have set 40433, it was a gift with purchase set from 2019, has 366 pieces. At first glance these two sets look very different but they are very similar but there's a couple of key elements that really make them stand out from each other. Now the gift with purchase set is obviously the 1989 Batmobile. The new one I'm not sure, I did hear that it was actually a take from the 1992 movie but I'm not a hundred percent sure on that but they're they're very similar anyway so I'm just going to call them 1989 Batmobiles now, it's not the first time we've got a Batmobile this year we did get a, another very similar vehicle in the Batcave shadow box now I don't have that set as yet to do a comparison but I believe these Two Batmobiles are very similar with the only difference is the side air intakes. If you have that set and there are more differences, please let us know in the comments. Now I must point out that the gift with purchase set had some stud shooters mounted on the sides here. And I didn't really like those so I took them off and did a couple of little mods there just to make it look a little better. So let's get down to the nitty gritty and actually find out which is the most accurate. So directly from the front, the build is pretty much the same. There's a couple of little differences, namely the use of the slope piece here on the front compared to the wedge piece on the older model. And I think the thickness of this piece is probably more accurate, but the curve of this piece is more accurate. So that probably cancels each other out. The big difference is the use of this, this pointed slope piece here which the vehicle actually has so from the front i have to give it to the new 2023 model when it comes to the rear there is some real noticeable differences the most of which is the difference in the fins and the location of the exhaust ports you can see from the picture that the exhaust ports are supposed to be inside the tail light and the new one does a very good job of correcting that and it's a very clever use of parts and a very clever build technique as well. The other is the fin. So we have these molded one piece fins on this model compared to brick built on the new model. And while the ridging on the original Batmobile is somewhat shown in these molded pieces where it doesn't have it in the brick built, the height of them is completely wrong. They should be a lot lower and actually to the same height or below the actual canopy of the vehicle. So you can see these are much higher and these are a little bit lower. So that's a lot more accurate. When it comes to the rear section of the cockpit, the actual slope is more accurate on this model. It's a lot steeper than this one here. I do like the use of lego pieces in here to represent the vents even though they're probably a little bit wide I, I do prefer that over the sticker of course this is a little section storage section here where you can put batman's weapons so both have my preferences here the the actual shape is better but i like the use of these pieces so i think that probably cancels each other out 
The biggest difference is the actual jet port here and the color usage. So on, on the gift with purchase set, it's in black and on the new model, it's in dark blue, it's gray. And you can clearly see in the image that it's supposed to be black. So I really don't know why they've gone with dark bluish gray. Instead of it being the look of all one molded piece, it really stands out and I don't like that at all. But I think, again, there's enough positives with the design here of the exhaust inside the lights, the actual correct height of the fins. I think there's enough there that we have to give it to the new model, but I don't want to discount how much I appreciate the use of the black cone piece here on the older model. Looking directly from the top, neither of these vehicles have an accurate depiction of the front of the vehicle. It's supposed to come a little bit wider. I do appreciate the cutout here to go to the rear of the vehicle is set behind the air intake and they're both accurate in that sense. Now the big difference is around this windscreen section and we'll take a closer look at that when we do the side profile. But I do prefer the rounded look here on top of the windscreen compared to the straight cutoff of the old model. Taking a look at the side profile, this is where we see some massive differences. And it comes down to a couple of crucial decisions they made with this new Batmobile. The first was to brick build the fins and to get that correct height as I was talking about before just gives it a much more streamlined look. But the biggest difference here is the use of the rounded windscreen using the window panelling here to cover in the sides compared to this model where it's just a squarish type windscreen piece and there's nothing to actually fill these sides in so that they're, they're open from the side and those two things alone make a massive difference between these two models a couple other things to note is the side air intakes on this model are in black compared to the dark bluish gray barrels i like the use of barrels instead of the window frame but um, yeah it really should have been in black and we can get black barrels so that was something that could have been done there's a some nice detailing in behind there on both models so I appreciate that the different design of the cockpit section allowed for this model to have a larger air intake on top compared to this model which is more accurate and something to note is, as I mentioned, I removed the stud shooters off this model, but this model does come with a play feature. So looking from this side, it's not quite as nice having this cog piece here, but the play feature is you can flip out the guns, it knocks those pieces off, and that is very cool. And both models have the spinning flame play feature. So before I give the winner and my final thoughts, let's take a quick look at the new Batwing. Now I don't want to go too in depth with this set, but I'll give you the details on it. It's a set on the left, it is 76265, Batwing, Batman vs the Joker, and has 357 pieces. Now I just wanted to have another set to compare it to, just so you can see the scale of it, so you can see it's, it's a pretty impressive size. And the set on the right is from 2019. It is set 76120, Batwing and the Riddler Heist. It had four minifigures and it was 489 pieces, but it did have a number of other builds with that set. It had a very cool cop car and a not so cool chopper. But I really did enjoy this build at the time. It's a very nice compact build and I think it looks great. But when it comes to this new model, wow, this looks fantastic, doesn't it? I really like the some of the design elements here and the way they put together this rear section here was quite clever. And when you compare this to the UCS style version that LEGO did, it actually looks really good and is quite accurate. 
Hmm, so is it my favourite bat wing of all time? I'm going to say no, because I'm still going to give it to my 2006 bat wing. I've always loved this set. I've loved it for so long. It, it's very hard not to not to still say it's my favourite, but, but this is definitely next in line. Uh, yeah, I can't say enough about it. Very impressive. So for my final thoughts, which Batmobile is the most accurate? Well, I think without a doubt, we have to give it to this new 2023 model. And what I think of these two sets, well, holy dooly, these are bloody incredible. The overall look, the design of the two sets, it's just fantastic. If you're a LEGO DC fan, you have to pick these sets up. And even if you're a casual fan and you've been on the fence about these, I highly recommend them. They are fantastic. So much so, I had to blow the cobwebs out and get my review shoes on for this because I was so impressed. Well, I hope you enjoyed the look at these two fantastic sets. If you've got them, tell me your opinion down in the comments. If you haven't got them, whatever your thoughts are, belt it down below. I'd love to have a chat with you. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. A big thank you for checking out the video. Now get out there and build some Lego. Catch you in the next video. Bye for now.